Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my first Halloween video. I'm super super excited for it. Um, so I did this scarecrow look. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell to know when I upload future videos. And if you guys want to see more Halloween looks before Halloween, then just let me know that down in the comments below or give this video a big thumbs up so I know that you guys liked it. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Alright guys, so starting out this tutorial, I'm going in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay Brow Pencil and I'm just filling in my brows super lightly, nothing too crazy, and then I'm going to go over them with my e.l.f. Wax Pencil just to sleek them down, and then I'm just brushing back through them. Next, I'm going in with my NYX eyeshadow base in the shade White and just laying this down for both of my eyes to make sure the color pops, and setting this with my Derma E Translucent Powder. Alright guys, now I'm dipping into my ColourPop Yes Please palette and going in with that yellow shade and just buffing that into my crease, and then I'm going in with that orange shade and doing the same thing but keeping it a little bit lower just because I wanted to keep this look rather rounded. Now I'm going ahead and cutting the crease with my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm cutting this pretty low as well just to make sure that everything is kind of rounded once again. And then I'm going in with my Derma E Setting Powder to make sure everything is nice and set in place. Next I'm going in with the orange glitter from this palette and using this on the part that we cut and because these colors were kind of similar I went ahead and outlined that with the gold shimmer shade in this palette just to make sure it really popped. Okay so next I'm going in with my NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner and I'm just lining my eyes and going ahead and adding a wing and then curling them and adding my Revlon Mascara. Next I'm going in with my Tarte Lashes in the Style Goddess with some black duo glue and just popping these on. If you guys want a tutorial on how to to apply falsies let me know. Next I'm going into my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I like to use a foundation with a lighter shade for this look because it looks more scarecrow like. Now I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape and going ahead and using that on my under eyes and setting it again with that Derma E powder but not too thick of a layer because we are going to be going back in with a powder again later on in the tutorial. So now I'm going in with this burgundy shade in the palette on my lower lash line and adding some bottom mascara as well and then I'm going in with that same orange shade that we used on our lids and adding this to my cheeks as blush but I did steer away from the apples on my cheeks just because we didn't want to distract from the nose so I'm going with an eyebrow pencil and adding some freckles and then going over top with a pomade as well and then taking a light dusting of powder over that to set it and make it look a little bit more natural. So next I'm going in with my eyeliner on my nose and outlining the tip of it and don't worry it's okay if this ends up being a little bit sloppy. So now I went in with that same orange and filled in our outline and then over the outline I just added some lines to make it look sort of like stitches. Next I'm making my top lip almost invisible by just applying some foundation and then I'm going and filling in my bottom lip with my eyeliner. You could totally use black lipstick but the eyeliner doesn't bleed when you drink or eat. And so then I went across and made a bigger smile on my face and went ahead and added stitches. So that is the finished look. I went ahead and braided my hair and put on a little straw hat. So my outfit, I'll have everything linked down below. I just had on a white shirt with some overalls and some tights because it is chilly in October. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified for future uploads. And yeah, I love Love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!